Uh, that is a qualifying offense under the statute, as is assault and battery with a dangerous weapon. Uh, in terms of probable cause, the Commonwealth would relate to the court on that uh, July 16th of 2016, approximately 1 p.m., Kingsboro Police received the call of an erratic driver. Uh, later, um, that same car that was involved was found in the driveway of a home belonging to the family of the defendant before you today, Mr. Clark. Uh, the defendant was then taken to Lowell General Hospital later that day for a suspected overdose. He spent about four or five hours in the hospital. At about 6 p.m. that evening, uh, Lowell General Hospital surveillance showed a person identified as the defendant um, leaving the parking garage with the blue Buick LeSabre. Uh, that Buick LeSabre was later observed at a CVS in Lowell on Middlesex Street, um, and a citizen's bank card that was in that uh, Buick LeSabre uh, was used to purchase syringes. Uh, purchases were made additionally at about 7 p.m. The blue Buick LeSabre was told about these transactions um, and um, about these uh, transactions made in National New Hampshire. At about 7.51 p.m., uh, the um, uh, and that shortly after 8 p.m., the Tingsboro police saw that same Buick LeSabre, saw that a light was out, and attempted to pull over the vehicle for a motor vehicle infraction. Uh, as they were attempting to pull over the vehicle, uh, it swerved and uh, committed Mark Lane's violations, and the police continued to pursue the vehicle, which then went on to Route 3 South. The pursuit continued as the uh, vehicle went about 95 to 100 miles an hour on Route 3 South. It continued to be all over the road, and where it exited uh, at Route 3, uh, uh, off of Route 3 onto exit 33 into Chelmsford. The Chelmsford police were notified of the pursuit by the Tingsboro police uh, pulled into Sully's Ice Cream in Chelmsford. As the Chelmsford police, uh, two police cruisers and the Tingsboro police were pursuing the defendant, again he pulled into Sully's Ice Cream uh, and he uh, was attempting to leave the ice cream store uh, when he struck a Chelmsford police cruiser. It was at that point that the Chelmsford police sergeant and another officer attempted to open the door and apprehend the defendant, pulling attempted to pull him from the driver's seat. The defendant shifted the car into reverse, and a Chelmsford police sergeant was dragged as the car rapidly accelerated in reverse, in reverse, colliding with another Chelmsford police cruiser, causing damage to the cruiser and dragging the uh, Chelmsford police sergeant with the car. Um, it was at this time that the Tingsboro police officer discharged the firearm twice, striking the suspect, and the sergeant from Chelmsford was able to roll and escape from being further dragged by the, uh, by the defendant with the car in reverse. Uh, while the defendant was being attended to medically by paramedics and the police, he continued to be uh, resistant. He was trying to um, uh, grab at them as they removed him from the car. Uh, he was eventually placed into a stretcher and to a helicopter and brought to the BMC. The defendant was identified through the wallet in his back pocket, and the officers later learned that the, the car was in fact stolen um, earlier that day.